we'd like to welcome you to the Department of Geography and we hope that you would be able to um, come in the fall and study here with us. We are um, pleased that we are able to offer students uh, internships and other programs where they're working outside of the university. We are pleased to offer field courses. We've taken students to London, to Greece, to Thailand. We try to get our students to see the kinds of things that are going on in their lives that they may take for granted, whether it be um, environmental change, whether it be social change or cultural change, or even everyday things. We also find that our students are well prepared to go on to graduate school. We've had numerous students go on to do MAs and PhDs at universities around uh, Canada. Uh, my name is Katie Hemsworth. I'm from Thunder Bay, Ontario and I'm a current graduate student at Brock. I'm just finishing up my master's thesis and I also did my undergrad at Brock in human geography as well. I came to Brock. I wasn't totally sure what I was interested in, but I knew that uh, in some of my high school courses in geography I was really interested in how humans interacted with their environment and the people within their environments as well. So I took a look at the course offerings and I realized that I was able to specialize in a bunch of different things in geography. Many of my interests were met by a bunch of different courses and they were, they were very diverse so I could learn about transportation geography and cultural geography, economic geography. I really got the sense that it was a very supportive, approachable faculty. We have a number of field opportunities. All of our students, whether human or physical geography, go on a field trip in their third year where they actually do research, where they are turned loose on a, a locale and they get to do interviews, they get to do um, archival work, they get to work in the field. My name is Darren Platicus. I am a uh, fourth year uh, Bachelor of Science Geography major. The good thing about Brock for that program is I can straddle taking human geography courses and physical geography courses because I have a varied interest in both of them. I was accepted at Brock when I finished high school back in 1988, but life kind of got in the way and I came back as a mature student in January of 2005. I started part-time. I mean, coming back after so many years out of high school was kind of intimidating, but the department made it really easy to come back. Everybody was accessible and easy to talk to. And I'm a cultural and historical geographer. Right now, the work that I'm doing is looking at the way in which people remember Niagara and I was most interested in sort of the monuments and I thought that people were going to talk about the War of 1812 and Laura Secord but it turns out that's not what people are interested in. They're interested in wine and so bas basically my research now is looking at the, wa the ways in which local people identify with the wine industry and sort of suture that onto their understanding of Niagara's past. For other people in the department we've got people looking at popular music and the way in which popular music engages with the spaces where people are, are. We've got people looking at gender and sexuality issues. We've got people looking at water resources. I couldn't ask for a better place to be. I would be delighted to sort of finish my career here and engage with the kind of students that we get. The students that arrive at Brock, many of them are, are very interested in the work that we're doing and very interested in learning more. And I'd say that the students are part of the joy of being here and working with uh, the, this place. The faculty here are another thing. It's a real delight to work with people who are so curious about the world that they live in and curious about what makes the place tick. So it's a combination of students and other faculty and the staff that we work with. It's, it's just a great place to be.